Okay, here we are. It's October 22nd at 10.01 p.m. And I am currently making this video because I face a, a bit of a conundrum because I, what, what I want to do here is give you all a window into what the substitute teaching life is all about. If you're a teacher, well, then you can ignore this because you've probably done your fair share of, of subbing, which seems to be the norm if you're going to teach in Michigan. If you're not a teacher or ever wondered what it was curious to be a teacher without a job looking for work every day, then this is for you. Okay. Now this has been a kind of a crazy week for me. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of what happened between yesterday and today, but now I'm sitting here. Uh, I, I talked to a lady today who's got me um, accompanying a class on a field trip for a full day assignment at a special ed school called uh, KVO tomorrow. Now I, I told her I accepted the job, uh, even though I had already accepted a job previously uh, teaching special ed high school, which is really out of my comfort zone and it, 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 it's not what I had in mind, but I took it because I needed the money. So when I got this, I decided I would cancel that job, and then I told her, you know, wait, and then add me in the system later on, which she said she would. Um, it's 10.02, and I'm, I'm still not in the system, and um, I, I don't know what's going on for tomorrow. I mean, I'm going to show up in the morning, uh, I'm assuming I have the job, but now I've passed up like six other jobs that I've seen on this website that I, I can't commit to because I don't know if I have this other job or not. And it would be really unprofessional of me to go ahead and to um, not show up for this job and say, well, sorry, you never put me in the system, so I took something else. Especially, my mom works at this building, and she's the one who you know, got my name in on their sub list, so if I needed a job, I could have one at this place. So it's pretty hectic. I, I, I never really know if I have a job or not until probably the night before, sometimes during the morning. Um, and only getting paid 75 to $85 a day to manage 20 to 30 kids. Uh, you think regular classroom teachers are underpaid and underappreciated. Well, the substitute teachers are even worse. It works out to getting paid about $9.35, 37 cents an hour. You work from 8 to 3, you manage. Um, most of the time it's great. I, I love working with the kids. I like teaching the kids. The kids seem to really uh, respond to me. You can go at substitute teaching two ways. Either, either you can go home with a severe headache or you can go into these classrooms just um, accepting the fact that you're going to do the best you can um, with a substitute. You have to expect they're going to be a little bit more rambunctious than they would normally be with their regular classroom teacher. And you just have to kind of roll with the punches and be flexible. Uh, whatever happens, happens. And uh, always, of course, be, be prepared. Come with silly games to know how to play. Um, learn the kids' names really fast. I, I don't know why I'm giving any of you advice. Um, I don't know if, if teaching is anything that any of you would want to do. That's just the way I look at it. So there, there's two ways you can go about it. Either you go home with a headache or you go home with a smile on your face knowing that you did a good job. And that's the way I prefer to do it. See? They're calling me again. This is another phone call for a job that they keep bestering me about that I don't because I don't know if I have a job for tomorrow. They're calling me and I can't accept it because I think I have a job tomorrow, but I'm not in the system so I'm not really sure. All I know that is if uh, if I go in tomorrow and another sub is there and they tell me to go home, that I, I don't know what's going to happen. I am going to be so super fly TNT pissed off that... Um, I guess I'll mow the lawn when I get home and ride my bike. Anyway, um, that's all I've got to say. Uh, these Making these video blogs is kind of fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this little uh, rant. Uh, make comments, please, in the... Make comments, please, in the...